Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video and in this video we will be talking about the new cartel market and what I mean by that is the cartel market had a significant update at least with the last patch which was patch 5.5 last week and I wanted to wait at least a week to make this video because I wanted to see exactly what has changed, get the most kind of updated information about what's going on and then make kind of a more calculated analysis of exactly how the cartel market has changed, whether it's a positive or negative improvement and so I want to go ahead and make this video, I'll try to keep it rather short but let's get into it and the first thing you guys are going to notice is the new interface which I really really like. I think it's a lot more organized, a lot more easier to navigate, it also just aesthetically looks a lot nicer. The old cartel market was very very outdated and so I'm enjoying it guys but what's more important are the items that have hit the cartel market because we have seen a significant um, let's say new direction that Bioware is taking with direct purchases and the first thing that you might have noticed if you haven't already checked it out is that we have a plethora of old items that have been reintroduced into the cartel market so if you go ahead to the old tab you will notice all of the um, all of the cartel market items and before we actually get into the old items let's look at two new items specifically that have hit the cartel market we have the Shadow Disciples armor set. This is brand new, just got released and it updated today. I know a lot of people have been waiting for this. I have checked out the preview in game. It looks absolutely stunning. I love the upper body armor. I love the uh, helmet the best. The belt is very nice. The uh, gloves are very nice. Like I just, a lot of this armor set was very nice. I think it's going very heavily. It's based off of the design of old kind of PVP and PVE armor. And to be honest, Bioware armor designers were on point back when the game started. A lot of the nicer armor we got way back in the day, nowadays Bioware's and new armor designs have been pretty crappy, but at least the old stuff was good. And this one's very much kind of one of those old armor sets that you would have expected with the really earlier shipments. And so I just really love the armor set's design. It's for a decent price of 1,400 and like 40 cartel coins, which is a normal price for a new direct sale armor set. Um, so that is finally in the game. And then the other direct sale we have is the uh, Seasoned Professional. Now this one was an armor set that was data mined a while back. It took Bioware, I guess, a long time to kind of actually put it in the game. Uh, there's nothing too special about this one specifically. The only cool thing, I guess you could say, is the helmet. It has the visual effect, so when you activate your weapon, that little visor thing will actually come down. Uh, but that's about the only thing. Overall, I'm not exactly sure what this uh, armor set is based off of or why it's even introduced, what's kind of special about it. I'm honestly not sure. It looks a little bit similar to kind of like that clone training armor back uh, from the Clone Wars TV series. I don't know. I think that's kind of a leap. But either way, I would say ignore this direct sale. I mean, <laughs> like the Shadow Disciples armor set, if anything, is probably something you're going to want to get, whether it's for yourself or selling on the GTN. This one, I would say kind of on the whole, ignore it. But... Um, I think what's more important are the old items that got reintroduced. So we'll start with the armor sets here guys and I would say actually for the most part ignore a lot of these old armor sets. Most of them, at least 99% of them are extremely overpriced. I would turn your attention to things like the Contractor's armor set here, which is just one of these random old armor sets that Bioware I guess decided to put on the cartel market. It is insanely overpriced, I mean this thing is probably worth 150 cartel coins maybe. Uh, it's, an, it's a pretty cheap armor set available off of the GTN. It's also a very ugly armor set in my opinion. The upper body armor is okay, but I feel as though it's been reskinned to death. The helmet is absolutely atrocious. And uh, a lot of the other armor sets are very similar to this. They're these kind of bronze and silver armor sets that are very old, but they're, they're made available time and time again because they're uh, pretty good drops from Grand Chance Cubes. And so they're constantly reintroduced. They sell for very affordable prices. There was really no need to reintroduce them to the cartel market. And and on top of that, Bioware, I guess, has a very hard time kind of adequately pricing their own items. And this is a trend that you can notice time and time again. If you're looking for examples, look no further than like some of the regions that they brought back. And what I mean by uh, this trend is that Bioware doesn't price things in the cartel market according to the in-game economy. And some of you might think that that's fine, like maybe it's kind of a disconnected type thing. But to be honest, I think Bioware should take into account when they put up a certain item, what it's actually selling for on GTN. Even though items vary across different servers and everything like that, the bottom line is there's kind of a standard, right? Like they put up the regions for like 420 cartel coins. These are regions across servers that are selling for under 100,000 credits. 
So that is just kind of an insane mismatch between its cartel coin price and what it actually sells for. And the fact of the matter is, if it sells for very affordable prices on the GTN, then like anyone can go and buy it. Why are you duping people out of cartel coins by offering an item? Uh, they're kind of preying on those people who don't know that this item is cheap on the GTN, which I think is kind of a scummy thing to do. Uh, when a certain item is very obviously not worth its cartel coin amount, um, I don't think it should be put up for that price. Of course, feel free to differ with me on, on your opinions on that, but that's just kind of my thing. I see some of these things up on the cartel market and I have a good chuckle at it, but then I feel kind of bad because someone might actually get like go and buy it and then later realize, oh shit, this thing costed basically nothing on the GTN. Why did I waste my cartel coins on this? Um, so the armor sets, all the armor sets are pretty crappy. Of course, you have some cool stuff like the Phantom is okay. Uh, the Temple Guardian is also okay. But for the most part, I would say save your cartel coins if you're interested in buying armor sets for some of the direct sales that hit. Uh, these are kind of now, they look to be rather permanent items because it's been a week and none of these have been removed. So these could very well be items that are going to remain on the cartel market for some time. And that's one thing I was uh, kind of waiting for before making this video. I wanted to see whether these are things just there for the week or they're going to be there for some time and it does seem like the latter is kind of the more practical option uh, so what that also means is expect prices to fall more or less on the GTN uh, whenever an item's made direct sale for a very long time the prices tend to drop and so if you are looking for this and you don't have the cartel coins to buy it you are most likely going to find a decent deal on the GTN. Uh, one of the recent uh, direct sales that we saw was the Primeville Stalker uh, a very very highly kind of a uh, popular and desired armor set and interestingly enough it didn't go for the normal price that i would have expected it to go for normally when bioware brings back a really rare old uh, armor set like the revan reborn and stuff it costs about 2100 2200 cartel coins uh, this one only costs 1400 cartel coins so it was actually a pretty exemplary deal considering the upper body armor itself sells for upward of 35 to 40 million credits on the harbinger and probably more on other servers but um yeah, it was a good deal and that was obviously gone after the week and so expect Bioware to kind of bring back more of those direct sales and it does seem, to, seem as though they're putting up some of these armor sets for decent prices. So don't go ahead and invest in like the Temple Guardian and stuff. That one's already been done to death. Uh, the prices actually aren't that high on the GTN. I speak from experience. I've sold, I've tried to sell a few of the Temple Guardians helmets and upper body armors, and I've I've sold them as low as like six to seven mil, and they still don't really sell at that price. You would expect that it would sell pretty quickly, but it doesn't, and so I would stay away from those. What's more exciting are some of the weapons. Now these are some insanely nice old weapon designs. I mean, this was back in the day when Bioware actually put a lot of effort into a. Uh, weapons regardless of whether they were silver, bronze, gold, or platinum. Of course, they didn't have platinum things, but take for example the Cathar Honor Sword. You know, this used to be a silver rarity item. This was never gold, but this is now on the GTN for 500 cartel coins. That is an insanely good price. Uh, I was saying that Bioware 99% of the time doesn't know what to price their items at. This is that 1%. This is when actually Bioware hit it bang on. It's a very decent price, very low. It's an extremely nice item that a lot of people have been wanting and perhaps haven't been able to get it. It. And so two things here guys on one hand that's like a subscribers uh, monthly reward So if you save that up very easy You can just grab this item and unlock it for yourselves But also it is a pretty decent item to sell on the GTN and whether you're trying to make credits or whether you're trying to find a good deal on the GTN both of those situations are most likely going to work out for you uh, I've already seen prices drop to like seven eight mil on the harbinger for the Cathar honor sword and um, I would only suspect that it would actually go lower if this remains kind of a permanent sale for some time. And once again, guys, it hasn't been removed yet. So that is something to definitely keep your eye on if you're scouring the GTN searching for some good deals. Uh, some of the other really nice items, we have the Tythonian Force Master, the Xyos Guardian. Uh, those are also very nice sabers, but I wouldn't say they're better than the Cathar Honor Sword. I'd still say the Cathar Honor Sword is both most, is both a more popular, kind of going to sell for more, but also a cheaper. It's like a hundred something cartel coins cheaper than the other ones. Uh, there are also some other weapons like the Black Nebula Blaster, the Range Hunter, um, What's the other one? The TAC HUD and the Max TAC Sniper Rifles. These are extremely nice designs. Uh, they're pretty expensive considering their prices on the GTN because the fact of the matter is, ever since they reintroduced these direct sales, uh, the prices have dropped pretty low on the GTN. I mean, I would suggest right after watching this video, go ahead, check the GTN and see if you can find a good deal. I have found a Range Hunter Blaster Pistols for under a million credits. I have found the Devastators a Double Bladed Saber for like 500,000 credits. Uh, I've just find some, found some amazing deals 
ideals. I was on the Red Eclipse earlier and I saw the TAC HUD sniper rifle, easily one of the nicest sniper rifles in the game, going for like 250,000. Like four people had it up for like 250 to 300,000 credits. So you can probably find some amazing deals on this stuff. And um, I would say, you know, kind of keep your eye out on it. If you remember it at one point, just go quickly run, check the GTN, see if you can find a good deal. I found a few and I've only checked the GTN for a matter of like 10 minutes. But given that you can find some pretty decent deals for these, I would not suggest paying your cartel coins for them. They're also only silver rarity, so it's not like it's gold or platinum or anything. So I would say kind of don't spend your cartel coins, just try to find a good deal. You probably will find a decent deal on the GTN. Um, aside from that, guys, so in other ways that the cartel market has changed, um, command boost is something I really want to talk about. So some one of the new changes they made with the command crates was that it now has a chance of dropping you a superior command boost. Now that is pretty insane. Like that is the 100% command boost. And uh, you would think that, hey, you know, it's, it's a relatively rare drop. So you wouldn't think it would affect the GTN too much. But if you went and checked the GTN lately, you would see that these things have plummeted in price, absolutely plummeted. Um, these things used to sell very, very well at two to three million credits each. Uh, they cost a very hefty 300 cartel coins on the cartel market, or you can buy the uh, five pack boost for like 800 or something. And um, they now sell for like 60,000 credits each to 100,000 credits. On the Harbinger, there are tons of deals for 100,000 credits. On the Red Eclipse, it's going for like 60 to 70,000 credits. So you can see it absolutely was destroyed. And I'm not sure whether that is solely due to the fact that now you can get these out of command crates. Uh, I think that played a big role, but also just in general, they were kind of always declining a little bit. And so, um, yeah, they now are basically affordable to everyone and extremely, extremely useful because with the two times CXP that uh, events that Bioware is doing and stuff, you can rack up command crates very easily. So you should basically, if you're farming, even if you're not farming CXP, just always have 100% CXP boost going because it's extremely cheap to have one now. But I think the more important message to get across is this is no longer a decent way to convert your cartel coins to credits. A lot of times when someone asks what's the best way uh, to convert your cartel coins to credits, the kind of generic option was either buy ca uh, cartel packs and sell it on the GTN or buy command boosts and sell them on the GTN. Uh, now guys, command boosts are really no longer an option. And so I really hope no one goes and wastes their uh, money because they, because they probably had some experience selling these in the past, but they haven't checked the GTN recently and they don't know that this thing has absolutely plummeted in price. So make sure you guys don't go and waste your money. Uh, it is no longer a decent or viable alternative to uh, making credits. That being said, I don't think there is uh, anything else really to talk about in terms of the cartel market. I'm kind of excited for Bioware's new direction. I like the fact that they're doing more direct sales. Uh, I like the fact that um, they're being a little bit more creative with their items. The Hollow Ranker is obviously amazing. Hopefully, hopefully they'll improve their armor set designs and go back to some older styles and stuff. Um, but other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are excited about... Um, the future of the game and, and where it's going. Um, the next update we have is coming like late November and that's kind of the update where we're getting a lot of the new uh, content. So we're getting a new flashpoint, we're getting the new uh, war zone. And so that's going to be a lot of fun. So a lot of videos to make there. And then before that with the, basically the big thing is the server merges. And that's going to be very interesting to see how the servers are affected. I'll be looking at the GTNs, uh, kind of what's the best server to be on, which one's going to be the cheapest server, the most expensive server. All in all, it's going to be a very exciting time where I think a lot of things are about to change. And there's going to be a lot of exciting opportunities to both make and maybe even lose credits. So uh, it's just going to be kind of an exciting time in general. And so expect a lot of videos to come out when that, when that happens. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.